Hello everybody. Welcome back to another adventure with Two Bananas Adventures in Gear. So what are we up to today? That's right, we're going hiking and we're gonna fish some high lakes. But Mr. Banana Man, all you ever do is go hiking and fish high lakes. Well that's because here in the North Cascades, during the summertime you really only just get a few weeks, maybe from uh, mid uh, June to like mid September where the North Cascades are kind of free of snow. So you really got to take advantage of this while you can. Uh, we're out in the Mount Baker wilderness currently uh, doing a an extremely popular trail. Oh, mosquitoes are already starting to get me. Uh, I woke up kind of late to do this trail. No problem though, I'm gonna walk backwards down this hill and try not to die. <laughs> So as usual, uh, I didn't really pay attention to the mileage. Um, I think it's somewhere in the six or seven miles. It's a loop and it's gonna have like, oh, six or so lakes. Uh, these are all pretty small lakes here. And uh, I think any trout that we catch are just gonna be a little, you know, seven, eight inches. So we're only about 300 feet into the trail. And uh, I think you come across your first lake almost immediately. So let's get down there and uh, cast a line in and see what happens. decided to stop here at this lake even though we still have like six miles to go uh, with lots more lakes coming up uh, I can't help it I just see uh, awesome spots and I want to stop and fish so let's bust out the old pole here so I'm being real lazy you guys I haven't even un, uh, undone my pole for my last uh, three-day uh, no trails fishing adventure and those fish up there were thirsty. And so I actually just have my braided line tied right on to a snap swivel. Uh, so if these fish here in this lake are line shy, uh, I might not get many bites. So let's see, check my knot. It feels uh, sturdy still. Now, what we're gonna do, since this is a smaller shallow lake and I don't think the fish are going to be all that big. We're going to start out with something real small. So just a tiny little rooster tail here. And I'm actually going to pinch the barbs because I'm not going to keep any of the fish from this lake. But I'm going to get this thing snapped on and uh, we'll get to fishing. I haven't had much luck ever with chartreuse. I know people swear by it, but yeah, it just hasn't really done the trick for me, but maybe today's the day. All right, so we're tying on another green rooster tail. All right, we're gonna make a few more casts with Coleman Spinner. If we catch a fish on this, oh man, Coleman's gonna be pissed. 
I really hope it happens. I'll give this like about five or six casts. We're only about a quarter mile into this whole hike. Got one, you guys. Take that, Coleman. Oh man, he's just a really little guy. See you later, buddy. All right. Successfully caught a little five incher. But uh, I'm fine with that. Thanks, Coleman, for, for leaving this lure in my car. It's been pretty successful for me. All right, so we figured out this lake 100%. I know exactly how to fish it now. I'm just kidding. Um, so I think that we got about, I think it's about two miles up to the next lake and some elevation gain. Um, and those lakes are the bigger of the lakes. So uh, I'm done fishing here. Let's uh, take a little walk up the hill. So this trail here is going to take us up and over this saddle and then back around here is a couple of the bigger lakes. So we got a little bit of elevation to gain. Let's get hiking. I'm really excited. This hike has some really great views. Let's go check it out. Check it out you guys, we made it up and over that saddle. There's two little lakes down here that we're gonna hit first. So one, two, we'll fish those and then we'll head over here to the bigger of these three lakes. And look at that, right in the shadow of Mount Baker. How awesome, I can't wait to get down there. Let's go check it out. Look at this. It's like this black sand here, this lake. Probably because we're under a volcano. <laughs> anyway, that's really cool. Awesome. Too bad I didn't bring my beach shorts. Woo wee! Oh man, right up behind me here is the pass or the little saddle that we just came down from. Uh, I literally sprinted, well, I jogged down fairly safely. Um, I am in a mild time crunch, but uh, okay. So the three lakes that are up on top of this, uh, ch up on top of this uh, lake system, this is the smallest of the three. So I'm gonna find a deep spot and get to fishing. Okay, let's try the black and yellow maps, number two, with a little bit of a tail on it.
kind of a big spinner for this little lake, but it might look like a bee or a beetle or some big bug these guys might eat naturally. Okay, we're going to do a fan cast again. Cast number one. Oh, there's a fish right below me. It's just a little guy. It's a pretty small lake. Oh, was that a bite or was that a rock? Oh, I got a fish. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I didn't even notice. Oh, he is pretty. Jump down here and get a release on this guy. Oh, what do we have here? Wow. Look at this brute. What a mean mouth. Oh, sorry, buddy. Come on. Hang on. There he goes. Awesome brookie. See if we can do that again. All right, we had our fun here. Caught a couple of little fish, but it is, oh man, 1240. Getting pretty hungry, I haven't eaten yet today. Let's head over to the middle lake, which is a I think the middle, it's literally in between these three lakes and I think it's the medium size lake. Let's head over there and see if we can catch up some, some lunch. All right, we're there. <laughs> it's like 80 feet away. This place is so busy, there's people everywhere. And uh, people swimming all over the place. It's been kind of hard to find a, a good mellow spot to be able to fish. There's some nice uh, underwater structure right here though. I think we're gonna have some luck. Oh, 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 geez. Oh, I got a bite when I was getting that mosquito. Oh my god. Oh my god. It was like b biting through my shirt. Oh, maybe that was a piece of grass. Oh, yeah, that wasn't a bite. That was some moss. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Damn it, that was our actual bite. Oh, there's one, got one. Got one on. Tip up, bobbers down. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh man, Look at the color on this gent. Or lady. Hold on, buddy. You can get off if you want by yourself. That's a barbless hook.
be free with you. Whoop. And he was like, all right, see ya. Holy cow, I cannot believe there is fish in this little tiny pond. It's literally like a foot deep. Uh, I, it must completely freeze over in the winter. I don't know if they come down the creek from the bigger lakes that are just up here. But anyway, this pretty much does it for the lakes uh, for today. And some pretty awesome views all around me. Uh, I'm going to fill up on some water, grab a snack, and then we're going to enjoy our hike out of here. lake we fished. Uh, lake number two right down here. Went up and over this little saddle. Fished the three lakes behind there and then we hiked on the back side of this tabletop here all the way down to where we are now. And here's the trail going back down to the car. Awesome possum. cow that was absolutely nuts I think we did about uh, seven to eight miles today with all the walking around and fishing and everything uh, we hit one two three four five six lakes uh, one of them I might consider more of a pond uh, but so as far as hikes go that was uh, about as scenic as it gets right there uh, absolutely beautiful hike but I can confidently and safely say I have never seen more people on the trail uh, that last mile or so I literally uh, ran down it uh, picked up a lot of garbage but yeah it was just bonkers people everywhere so I had to get out of there I think that's probably why I like to wander off into the woods places where there's no trails but anyway, overall, that was a really awesome day. Beautiful, beautiful hike. Uh, probably won't be back here for a little while. Uh, probably need to head off into the woods somewhere where there's less people. But anyway, that's today's adventure. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So as always, grab your bananas, head outside, and practice those leave no trace principles. We'll see you guys on the next adventure. <laughs>